really a, a huge fan of the two teams that call this place their, their home, the Mavericks and the Stars. Um, you know, I love the Cowboys too, and I'm really excited about what happened yesterday, but I'm really, really happy to be here at the home of the Mavericks and the Stars, right here in, in the heart of the city of Dallas. So, you know, during college football season, you'll hear me imploring our residents to pony up. I got my pony up pin on today. Um, when college baseball season rolls around, you hear me talking about uh, Dallas Baptist University and our need to support the Patriots. I understand that sports isn't for everyone, but as a fan and as the mayor of this great city, I understand the tremendous value that sports teams bring to our city. Sports gives us civic pride. It can teach us really important life lessons. Sports can inspire us, and they let us dream about the possibilities of being truly great at something. They give our families something to do. And I understand how important that is with three kids of my own. And it helps those kids in our city to stay safe and to stay out of trouble. It's that last point I wanna focus on a little bit. And I would say that is probably the most critical thing to me and why I wanted to, to do this. I launched a campaign this past summer called the Summer of Safety. And that campaign was about letting all the families in our city know about all of the events, not that we were planning to create, but that already existed in our city that could help keep our kids safe and continuing to learn while they were out of school. Because generally, crime in a major city spikes in the summer because the kids are all home and they have nothing to do. And you know what? that campaign actually worked. We did something in Dallas this past summer that you frankly never see happen in major cities in America. That is, we actually saw violent crime fall in the summer months in our city because we were successful in getting our kids involved in our programming. So as summer officially ends this week, it's my opinion that we should keep this going and that we need to find more opportunities to keep our kids out of trouble now that school started, we should keep this going. And it's imperative, I believe, that we're relentless about this throughout the year in engaging our children and encouraging them um, to do things that are you know, going to keep them safe and, and that are, that are you know, vibrant programs like this. So that's why I've decided to partner with the Dallas Sports Commission and Visit Dallas on what we are calling the Mayor's Youth Sports Ticket Program. This is our new effort that was inspired by our Parks and Recreation Department's very successful Teen Access Pass, which was a huge success this summer and last summer. What that pass did was it allowed teens to access fun and educational venues across our city like the Arboretum, the Dallas Zoo, the Perot Museum, and Bahama Beach Water Park. We want to apply that same concept to sports. So the Mayor's Youth Sports Ticket Program is going to provide a limited number of free tickets to Dallas residents between the ages of 12 and 17 for sporting events across the city and across this region. Each ticket that we provide to our youth is going to come with an additional ticket for a chaperone so that the parents of these children will be able to accompany their kids. So I would be remiss if I didn't say all the folks who helped make this program possible. We have some amazing partners on this, and we're very blessed to have many of them with us today. The Dallas Cowboys are working with us on this program. Of course, the Dallas Mavericks and the Dallas Stars the Dallas Sidekicks, the Dallas Wings, FC Dallas, Fair Park First, SMU, Dallas Baptist University, the University of Dallas, the University of Texas at Dallas, and the Texas Motorplex in, er, in Ennis are all partners in this inaugural Mayor's Youth Sports Ticket Program. We also have some events that will be participating, including the Mex Tour, the World Food Championship, the First Responder Bowl, and also we're gonna have an opportunity for our kids to attend the Women's NCAA Final Four this year. So we hope to 
add new partners and new teams in the future, but that's who we have in this initial iteration of the program. Now, this is for the public to hear. Before everyone in the region starts calling us asking for tickets, I want to emphasize something. You have to be a City of Dallas resident to be eligible to participate in this program. And I want to remind everyone that these tickets are limited, so we won't be able to give free tickets to every single person who wants one. So remember, bear with us, because we are trying to do something that's never been done before. This is a brand new program, but I'm extremely excited about what this program is so far and what it can become. Our website is live. They will be able to go online today and register. And there's some validation, validation and eligibility requirements, as the mayor was saying, have to be a city of Dallas resident, ages 12 to 17. Um, and once they are eligible and verified as ticket opportunities, it'll be a very fluid process. We do have ticket opportunities that once they're verified, we will be able to unveil this week uh, and start distributing those tickets. And as uh, different dates and different ticket opportunities come through, um, we'll be able to, to ensure that they have access to those tickets as well. So this will be a very fluid process. We do anticipate after this announcement uh, and hopefully the success of the program that we'll have different partners that come out. And from a sports commission standpoint, as we continue to add events uh, throughout the years, uh, we'll be adding those tickets to, to the program as well.